All right, back here with a couple of pitchers here, a lefty and a righty, and we're going to go through what I think is a pretty unique draft exercise. We're calling it the 2022 pitcher draft. These guys are going to take uh, a pool from a pool of players and select a staff, and then we're going to ask them, okay, of those guys you picked, who is your game one starter? There are a couple of caveats here. We're not going to select from players that are currently injured, so... Max Scherzer's not eligible, Jacob deGrom. So for all you ham and eggers out there, when you look at their list and you're like, <laughs> why isn't Max or Scherzer on here? Yeah. Because we're not going. These guys aren't eligible. So mm. let's take a look at the pool of players that they're going to choose from here. Yes. Sandy Alcantara, Corbin Burns, Garrett Cole, Martin Perez, Tony Gonsolin, Alec Manoa, Shane O'Mac, Shane McClanahan, Joe Musgrove, Justin Verlander, and Zach we always, there's always names that are left off. Yes, of I mean, course. We, give, give us, well, a, so give Nestor, us a couple of names. All right, so Nestor, Nestor Cortez, Cortez, what Max Fried has been doing. Nestor, yes. Like we could extend it. Look, you, we could, you know, Logan Gilbert. Right. So okay. Uh, but remember, there are going to be some people left off of here. This but is fun. I want to know where Jake's coming at. You're going first, sir. So with the first pick, Al Leiter selects. Uh, I'm going with. Thank you. So we are thinking similar. I'm going with Justin Berlin. Okay, why? Well, I'll tell you what, since he's been an Astro, 2.43 ERA from that trade in 2017, nobody's got a better ERA for a new club, and 51-18 and 18 is his, his uh, record. And I need a guy that I slowed the heartbeat down, that's not going to, you know, uh, be too nervous when it comes to a big game. And this is what we're talking about. We're talking about a playoff rotation and ultimately uh, a game one starter. I, you know, look, there, there's a lot of great names on here, a lot of guys with great stuff. That's right. But I want a guy standing up on the bump that's done it before. Yeah. He's now, number one. I, I'm being told that you you guys did not reveal your selections to the producers that. No. So this is all. So this could be a real all natural. Mess. All, all <laughs> off the cuff. Jake, you're next. Who are you taking? You know, I love that pick. I love experience, too. But I'm going to take the young Justin Verlander and Sandy Alcantara. Oh, oh, yeah. This kid reminds me of a young Justin Verlander. When you talk about pitching deep into the games and you talk about almost 100 innings, the next closest guy in innings is about 10 innings behind him. I love old school baseball pitching deep into the game. He's pitched early to contact. You see four seamer up. He's got an incredible two seamer. The changeup is just devastating. Guys can't see it. And he got a, he has an aces moxie, you know? He's yeah. just as calm, cool, and collected. I, you saw him, I think, one time in the about 13 starts get really fired up. That calm, cool collectiveness reminds me of Justin Perlander. That's a good one. That's I like that. All right, all right so, Al, you're next. Who's next? All right, so I, I got to go with, I'm going to go with a lefty. I know that there's going to be one screaming out there. I got a veteran guy in Verlander. Um, I am going to go with Shane. Oh, I don't do it. I, 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 first of all, I think the kid, like young guy, gunslinger, reminds me of you when you first came into uh, playing. Just yeehaw. Uh, Shane McClanahan, he's been great. Uh, let's see, we got uh, leads the American League, or both leagues, 113 strikeouts, fastball slider, gets it up to 99 miles an hour. He averages 97. Curveball batting average against, wipeout uh, 114 batting average. Yes, there's a small sample, but I'm just looking at stuff, and you talk about disposition and demeanor as uh, Sandy Alcantara, uh, Alcantara. That's my guy. So I got a righty and a lefty, and I'm going stuff. Yeah. I love Mac. I, uh, he would have been my pick. Really? Had you not taken And I love promise him. you, we have not talked about That's that. That's right. All right, who, who do you got, Jake? Yeah, look, I, I love the lefty, but I'm going with Corbin Burns here. Mm. Corbin Burns last night or two nights ago was outstanding. Cool. I know there's been some hit or miss starts, but you look what this guy's made of. He's the reigning Cy Young Award winner. Home start against St. Louis a couple nights ago. Big division series on the line. The guy shows up in a big way. Look at this sinker and cutter, Al. It's just amazing to watch yep. him be able to run a sinker 95, 96. Most guys' cutters are four or five miles an hour off that. Yeah. This guy's cutter stays at 95, 96. To be able to go 95 this way, 95 that way, Corbin yep. Burns, my name. All right, after two picks, Al's staff looks like this, Justin Verlander, Shane McClanahan. Jake's staff looks like this, Sandy Alcantara and Corbin Burns. Al, you're back on the clock. I'm going Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole, baby. I, I'll tell you, you know what? That, yes, he's had some clunkers and back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back home runs in Minnesota, but uh, of late, his last 11 starts, he's got a 2-6 ERA. Um, also been around there with Verlander in Houston. Um, you know, how many times now he's flirted with a no-hitter, uh, seventh and eighth inning, respectively. Uh, yeah, this is an easy one for me. When he, his last start in Tampa Bay, I, I mean, I don't know if you were you were on the desk, but like you talk about carve up, gas, pinpoint, 
good changeup, really good breaking ball. That's that's a pretty easy one for me. That's my number three starter. All right, Verlander, <laughs> McClanahan, and Garrett Cole for Al. Yep. Jake, your third pick. Where you at, San Diego? And number 44, give me Joe Musgrove. Woo, oh, yeah. 44 right. in San Diego has had a soft spot in my heart for a long time now, yeah. Roflo. This guy wears it well and is carrying on a great tradition in San Diego. From opening day on, I heard him say it's a dream come true. This guy's from San Diego, and he has taken control of a great pitching staff out there and became their number one. Going into his walk year, too. That's right. He's pitching. You know, what I'd love to see him, he's, there's been a slow, um, steady climb for Joe since he's gotten the big leagues. You just see the quiet confidence. Competitor, give me Joe Musgrove any day of the week. All right, so this after three picks, this is what it looks like. This is what their staff looked like. Al has Verlander, McClanahan, Cole. Jake Peavy has Andy Alcantara, Corbin Burns, and Joe Musgrove. Al, you're back on the clock. Man alive. I'm, 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 I'm struggling on these two right here. But two I more, think, Two more picks left. I think I'm going to go with Alec Manoa. Alec Manoa, I like that uh, one. Nasty wipeout slider. Crazy, crazy good. Big dude. Uh, doesn't throw real fast, I mean, with respect to velocities, but the look, uh, you talk about confidence. He's got the look that says, okay, I'm coming at you. That pitch right there is, has been his, his go-to, 160 batting average against. Yeah, he's my he's my number four. I like that pick. And as you said, looks like an ace, acts like an yep. ace. Jake, pick number four for you. Pick number four for me, hair, beard, Tony Goslin. Ooh, that was that. Bringing on this kid. First off, got a great look. When you got that yeah, kind of hair and you got right. that beard going, it's yeah. hard not to, to feel good. And when you feel good, you certainly pitch good. I don't know anybody in the National League who's pitched better than Tony, honestly. And, and for the Dodgers. And they've needed it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's what I'm going on here. But yes. what is the deal? Why, 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 his numbers say that he has been the best. Like, I, I'm with you on that. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think not he's enough body work. Yeah, it's just I, I a sample so. size, right? I think so. And then he hasn't been allowed to really pitch deep in these ball games yeah. like some of the other guys. But he has been huge in an injured staff out there for Dave yeah. Roberts. If All this right. is another year from now, we might be, you know, he'd be talking. It's true story. He'd, you know, top five. Two guys. pitchers left the on the game. board. Al, your right. final pick. So Martin we, Perez or Zach Wheeler? Who is it? I was borderline mm. disappointed. We only had uh, two lefties. Obviously, me being left-handed. So mm -hmm. this right here is surprising. Heck, man. I, first of all, I didn't know he's 31 years old. He's been around. Martin Perez with with that's your pick. Martin that's my Perez. Pick. That's my tip. And look, Zach Wheeler. I mean, come on, as your fifth. But Martin Perez. I mean, peel it back. He he throws harder than I always thought because I know he's got the good changeup and cutter. Uh, averages 92.6, second lowest in in American League in, in uh, ground balls. He's got a 1.96 ERA. I mean, quietly in Texas, this is going to be interesting for me, Jake. When what they do. Potentially, if it's at the end there at the trade deadline, and you got a guy like this that's locked in as pretty much as anybody in America. Yeah. So and you're left, you're left, you're left with, and this, <laughs> I mean, you, <laughs> we should not term it that way that's because right. Zach Wheeler, Wheeler is Come on, Zach, I'll take you any day of the week, pal. I saw you on a really special day, Roy Halladay's retirement day, him taking the mound versus the Mets and really won my heart over in looking like a Roy Halladay. This guy is tall, has the demeanor, big time fastball. Yeah. And again, that Philadelphia rotation and teams coming, he's going to be a big part of that. You get in the playoffs, you don't want to face Zach Wheeler, I promise you. Well, this, this is what the rotation for Al's team would look like. Verlander, McClanahan, Cole, Manoa, and Perez. Jake's staff looks like this. Alcantara, Burns, Musgrove, Gonson, All right, so throw it and there. Zach Wheeler. So, are we safe to us? Is it safe to assume that your first pick is your game one starter in a playoff series, Justin yes. Verlander? I'm going to stay consistent with that. <clears throat> Justin Verlander, I know he's coming off Tommy John. I know he's older. Uh, way too much body work and a lot of uh, postseason World Series, of course, included. He's going to be my number one starter for Jake. Who's reason. starting game one for you? Well, I believe postseason baseball reverts back to old school baseball when you ride your starter as long as you can. And and I, again, I think that's why Al's taking a Justin Verlander. Yep. All these guys do that. Give me Sandy again. He's going to save my bullpen, go out there and win game one for me, set up the rest of the. Season. So how do how do we? Do, I, I love the it. fun here. First of all, I love this idea. So who wins? Whew, man. Well, you certainly have more uh, diversity with the lefty I'm not asking matchup. You. I'm asking I, I, I think, first of all, I think because Al got to pick first, there's a little bit of an oh. advantage there. But I love that McClanahan-Cole combination. I, I, 
But, but we're splitting hairs. As good as anybody in the yeah. game. The only way he's been hit has been clipped with homers. Yeah. They yeah. haven't put together innings. No. Yeah, yeah, I mean, good we're point. splitting hairs. Good stuff, guys.